Hello. Our topic is all about simulink modeling of smart irrigation system based on fuzzy logic control. Irrigation is one of the most important things that farmers do to ensure crop growth by properly using water. Using traditional methods in irrigating plants require a lot of water, take time and effort. So, to minimize these methods, a smart irrigation system was designed and run in Simulink to estimate the precision of water and when the best time is to irrigate based on the environmental parameters. The primary goal of this study was to use Simulink and Fuzzy Logic Toolbox to design and simulate a smart irrigation system. There are two main control systems which are Automatic Irrigation Control and Water Level Controller. This system applied fuzzy logic to obtain optimal irrigation of decision. Mathematical modeling was used in the two main control systems. The water level controller employs Bernoulli's equation to determine the water level and outflow rate of the tank, which decides whether the tank needs to be refilled. Also included is automated irrigation control, which distributes water from the pump based on data collected from soil moisture and DHT11 sensors. Here is the block diagram of smart irrigation system. Automatic irrigation control is operated from the right side, with three inputs, soil moisture content, air humidity, and temperature level, all of which are sent into the FLC to obtain a control signal from the pump. The inputs are fuzzified to the rule base in the FLC to obtain the desired result. The water level controller is on the left side, and the inputs are the tank's water level and outflow rate. To restrict the valve from opening, those inputs are also fed into the FLC. Here is the Simulink model of smart irrigation system. From the automated irrigation control, there's a soil moisture sensor and DHT11 sensor. The soil moisture sensor calculates the equivalent percentage by ADC value divided by the max reading which is 1023. Then multiply to 100. From the DHT11 sensor, the relative humidity determined by readings of air vapor in the environment in relation to temperature. Those inputs are fed to the FLC to obtain the signal for pump. And from the water level controller, there's an error signal to maintain the output water level at the desired level. The desired output, R, will be subtracted from the actual water level. The result is then multiplied by 1 over reference input. The rate of the tank's outflow will be differentiated to the output level in relation to the simulation time in the second input. The fuzzy logic controller will receive all of the inputs and provide a control signal for the valve. Then there's a gain of 1 one hundredth, which converts the control signal to a 0 to 1 value. And then there's an integrator block that accepts the control signal's value in terms of time, as well as a saturation block that limits the input signal. The saturation block has 1 and 0 as upper and lower saturation values. The valve will then be actuated, and its value will be multiplied by the maximum inflow value to prevent water from overflowing. The tank will then be filled by the valve. In this tank, the outflow and the water level are the two outputs. The water level will be regulated by the tank's height. This height will be calculated in this equation. Before we simulate the model, we have to save the fuzzy logic designer in the workspace. The sensor 3 is from the automated irrigation control and the tank will be in the water level controller, then, we have to save also the parameters of reference input or desired value which is 10. From the automated watering management, we adjusted the soil moisture sensor to 750, which is the maximum reading for dryness, or 73.3%. The relative humidity is 10 kg or 34.72%, indicating that it is low moist, while the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, indicating that it is hot. These factors cause the pump to turn on, supplying water to the plants. If we set 500 values from the soil moisture, which is the lowest reading for wetness, and the relative humidity is 20 kg, which is high moist in the air, and the temperature is 24 degrees Celsius, we get a range of temperatures that is normal. The pump is set to zero, indicating that it is close. The actual water level signal in the simulation which has a value of 5 cm. In the error signal, we subtract the desired output from the actual level, which is 10, 10 to 5 equals 5, and maintain the outflow level. As a result, the signal in reference input 10 lowers to 5 cm. On the other side, the control signal fluctuates, indicating that the valve will be opened. 
because we multiplied the valve out pipe by the maximum inflow of 20 E3 or equivalent to 20 liters slash S, the output for the valve opening is 0.7. And when the outflow increases, it indicates that water is being released from the tank.